Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. There is a dangerous website that has existed for over a decade that preys on the weak and steals from the poor. It's like Robin Hood but more fun. This mysterious website has customizable characters and a game engine that allows people to push their creativity to the limits. What we thought was possible is now possible or Im I don't know. I really don't know. You can do anything in this mysterious, dangerous website game. This game is called Roblox. <sighs> That was like a really dramatic scream I did, but it was quiet though. I couldn't quite, I couldn't uh, speak too loud. Roblox was created in 2005 by two founders, David Bazuki and Eric Kussel. Castle, never mind. It was originally called Dynablox. What an ass name. Horrible name. In 2005, it became Roblox and officially launched in September of 2006. The greatest year of the Lord, our Lord, the Savior, and the King. Now, back in 2006, Roblox was not a popular game at all. It had a player base of around 12,000 absolute mouth-breathing troglodytes. But as the years went on, the player base that Roblox would garner gained and grew and just burgeoned. I think that's a name word. Burgeoned and just expanded like like some fetish shit, just oh, just its big fat belly. In 2022, Roblox now has around 1 billion players. <laughs> That's a seventh of the population of Earth. There's 26 users every single second. That is unbelievable. This is all according to the Robloxian wiki, by the way. Extremely accurate. Just a basic idea using blocks like Minecraft and also a hanging out game type, mixing those two things like Habbo Hotel and Second Life, two other incredible games that I'm sure you all love. Love because you're chronically online and you're troglodytic mouth breathers. What the hell? You fart. Before the 26 players every second metric and the billions and billions and billions of plays of all the different games of Roblox, there wasn't that much in the game. There were very many things to do in the game. There was a community. You could build and share your own creations and allow other people to enjoy it with you. I mean, take this video for, for example, from 15 years ago. What the f Thank you, John Shedletsky. We can work on egg of chaos. I think not. That game looks like shit. It went from that to this. Roblox's success is so large as of December 2023, the market cap, the Robloxian market cap, the Robloxian Wall Street is worth 28.31 billion dollars. <laughs> Shut up, Frankie. This game makes a lot of money, too. You got the whole microtransactions. You can buy shit in the game. You can look at this I, I'm a Roblox billionaire. Do you look at this epic? My I'm a Roblox billionaire. This is my avatar right now. You can just make your own shit and sell it. People can get rich off of just making horrible items to wear in Roblox accessories and things like that. Over time, Roblox evolved from this blocky land of <laughs> shit. Guys, f fun little Lego people running around working on aircraft carriers. It evolved from that into a massive marketplace and giant in the gaming sphere in terms of revenue and player base. The Roblox marketplace was added in 2007. All the way back then, you could sell, trade, buy things, whatever you wanted to do to customize your little stupid Lego characters. This did create a dangerous environment because money always ruins everything. There were people who were looking to make mega big time uh, bahu bucks from selling hats and shit. And there was a problem with offsite marketplaces. There were no rules. It's same with CSGO. Say all these, they, it just, it's, it's dangerous, all right? This would become a problem almost immediately take example in the early years hats you could just sell a hat and then it would just be removed off the market in an instant a virtual item you could sell this shit for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars look at this black sparkle time fedora two hundred fifty thousand in roblox dude that's like three grand that's crazy y'all are dumb as fuck. a child can't afford that Unless he's working in the mines. It was like an investment. It wasn't even just a, a funny little accessory item. It was an actual investment. Now, these investments, they increase value, right? Here's a bunch of things that are worth a lot of money, according to the idiots selling them on Roblox. $600 million. What the f***? Wait, one, two, three. How is this even possible? How are they allowed to do this? Plus, some creators just get free Roblox monies from from Roblox themselves, which offs, that's like the, 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 the creature of Jekyll Island just giving some random guy a bunch of money to play God. The point of this is that there is a real life aspect to Roblox and there has been for a long time. Money, very important. Little babies ain't buying a $2,000 hat with mommy's credit card, but if they did, it'd be worth a billion dollars now. So what I'm saying is 
buy it. So these are examples of items that were created officially by Roblox. Now, there's UGC items, okay? With the introduction of the sale of UGC items, you are allowing people to make cosmetics and then sell them in the game. You're allowing people to create artificial scarcity. There's limited demand of these things. It's so strange. Check out this epic chain, Silver Over Chain, created by the Over Creative Team, an exclusive archived item with 1,000 copies worldwide. It was originally free, but now it's being resold for $2. <laughs> so that makes sense, right? Right, 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 right. There's a thousand of them. So $2 times a thousand, that's two grand. That's a chunk of change right there, dude. If you're a child and you're not incredibly wealthy YouTuber like me. Here's another epic item made by people. King UGC, Joss Hutcherson profile picker. Here's some stuff that's been made and is no longer available because the inventory is depleted by this one fellow, the lemon land or whatever the... F You've probably also seen all sorts of different looking Robloxian characters from creatures like this to hot babes like this. I mean, check that shit out. That's crazy. There was a time you had to rely on the Robloxian corporation to make your cosmetics nigh. The UGC creators have got your back. The creative control that people have in Roblox is unbelievable now. And also the ability to manipulate others and the black market. But we'll get into that in a second. Look at the thick ass on this avatar. That's incredible. That is thicker than a snicker. This is a game made for children, by the way. Just an important, uh important um sort of thing to note here now on top of this there are some cool avatars for example arthur morgan from red dead redemption this fellow i don't know, i don't know what he's from really spider-man that's spider-man i i assume that sony had nothing to do with that that's the, the joker i assume whoever owns the joker had nothing to do with that who has the copyright for santa what about a turkey that's like a turkey from that game where you could shoot turkeys you guys remember that game or am i making that shit up in my head where you could shoot turkeys down you'd like point and you shoot it and they they died and you can shoot them turkey hunt Turkey shoot? What was that game called? I forget. All this plays to Roblox's main selling point, which is powering imagination. You can build anything, create anything for everyone to see, as long as it looks like shit and fits in the Lego world. This punchline gets kids excited because kids love just making stuff. They love being creative and they love running around and stumbling and being really just sort of top heavy. It's weird how top heavy kids are. They get excited to build though too, especially in Roblox. The games in Roblox have evolved over the years. You had small blocks experiences such as the natural disaster survival which primes kids all around the world on how to survive in case there's a natural disaster i think this works great also front lines which is preparing children for war it seems it doesn't even look like roblox anymore front lines this is incredible this is an insanely beautiful game that doesn't i mean this is roblox what do you mean this is roblox you gotta be shitting me you gotta be stroking me right now what the f this isn't roblox this is real life. That's what happens when a group of adults make a game in Roblox. Normally they look like this. Children make these games. They are so stupid. There are 20 million different experiences to enjoy in Roblox as of this day, today. There are 20 million. Only the absolute top 200 of those 20 million are seen on the main Roblox page. It's a climb. Uh, to get your game played by thousands of children, I guess, or adults. I don't really know. Like, this doesn't look like anything I'd ever play. As an adult, man, not to be... I know a lot of adults play Roblox, but this is, like, clearly not a... This is a children's game. I mean, well, how many? One, two, three of these things on the front page are just Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> ripoffs? I don't think that many adults are playing that. Powering Imagination, Roblox wants you to make your own games for people to play, but... The truth is, you're not going to get discovered if you don't slide a bit of a fee to the Robloxian overlords up there in the sky, up in the kingdom of heaven, I assume that's where they reside. They are all powerful, after all. Benevolent, malevolent, it doesn't matter. Mount Olympus is where they live. If you pay a little advertising fee, your game gets to reach the desired audience. So they can buy things from your game, and then you make money! Roblox does take 30% of every single transaction, uh, and the 70% remaining goes to the developer. It's a little bit predatory but it does make sense because it's such an sort of enclosed system you can kind of do everything it's really easy to make a game in roblox it's nothing like unity or unreal believe me i would know i'm an expert but it is sort of a trend that developers do get shafted in the world of roblox because of the the low barrier for entry it's like i don't know you make a real game if you don't want to get shafted i guess but at the same time the developers that are getting shafted by Roblox, they decide to shaft the players that play their game to make up for lost profit. It's sad. It's an endless cycle of pain. Robloxian greed.
It never ends. It never ceases. One day we will turn Robux into real money. By the way, you have to have over 100,000 Robux to even withdraw into real money, and that's about 350 bucks. But since it's a real life market and there's like inflation and shit, it's closer to 30,000 Robux now, which is more realistic and it's easier for people to get their money out. Basically, they wanted developers to make games to earn Robux. Things have changed though. Things have changed. Now they got called out for that incredibly predatory sort of idea where you just like, you make Robux, Robux more money and then you can't take your money out. You it's 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 weird it's changed now though it's good and it kind of makes sense because some of the developers are literally nine years old and this kid's got a passion he's eating his cheeseburger just 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 typing away tip tip tapping away adding in a new uh child soldier simulator with elements of five nights at freddy's and and bendy in the ink machine this kid has no idea once he releases his passion to the world he's gonna hit a roadblock i mean a roadblock sorry <laughs> and he won't even be able to take the money that he's earned out of the it's so fucking stupid uh plus the kid has to use money to advertise the game it's never gonna be found oh and also if you don't make a bend in the ink machine five nights at freddy's game it will never be seen it will never be played it has to be trendy it has to be on the forefront of people's minds instantaneously. So this kind of basic foundation of how Roblox has developers making games breeds a lot of uh, greed in the developers and the way that players interact with the developers' games. Because like, there's 20 million games on Roblox. There's one in there that's just gonna literally be gambling. I mean, literally just be unregulated, fun, sweaty palm, tap, tap, tachycardia heart, just fucking best day of your life gambling literally just that <laughs> like indian reservation type shit this brings us to the roblox black market and the ultimate pinnacle of fun in the world of roblox just in general all games come with their issues but this is an entire platform with games on it that is dominated by babies children do not have developed brains they are susceptible to the darkest parts of life all the sins scamming gambling and even worse children are the most susceptible to and the easiest to manipulate into doing those things believe me i do it on a regular basis just kidding but there's a lot of gambling in this in this world hat gambling for example this is a process by which hats that we stated before that are purchased from a marketplace or a catalog kids can buy these at low or high prices in hopes of them going limited in order to make a huge amount of money by selling them reselling them that's called gambling. That's chance. That's chance. There's consideration and an element of chance. That is literally gambling. And also, Roblox just takes a cut of that too. So Roblox lets children possess a hat that is eventually going to be worth an insane amount of money. They will make sure of that. And then when the child sells that to another child, then Roblox also takes a cut. It is incredible. No wonder Nancy Pelosi invested in this shit. Incomprehensible amounts of money to children. I mean, when I was a child, I thought 20 bucks was like, uh, like a nest egg, you know? <laughs> now, I spend $20 every second, it feels like, it seems like, at least. I go to my work credit card where, where Sour Boys and everything, people are buying like PPE and shit. I feel like I just spent twenty dollars. I spent twenty. I mean, I just spent twenty bucks. Again, again. When I was a child, shoo, I would have cried. It all starts off pretty benign too, because you just go to the shop and you see all these little cheap hats, and it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, it's only if I buy five of these, it cost me, it cost mommy ten dollar, and then it might go limited, and I'll make fifty billion dollars or whatever the, the the math is. It starts off benign, but in reality, it is a malignant system. I'm anti Roblox. If you guys, and most people that I know that like Roblox are still anti Roblox and they purposefully put themselves into the system because it's like yet another society moment. It's easier to point out the flaws of Robloxian society when we live in a society, man and stuff you know what i mean <laughs> i don't really know what i'm talking about now to be honest the price of just hats gets insane there's gambling in roblox on their marketplace there's also gambling off the website there's a roblox black market beyond just gambling there are different versions of it one is just a literal gambling website with a coin flip you get a 50 percent chance of heads or tails and you can win a hat that's crazy dude now you're probably wondering what do i mean by bet you're limited so pretty much what you're gonna do is you're obviously gonna put up your limited like i just said and then once you put up your limited another person will join eventually and then it's gonna flip a coin pretty much there's a 50 percent chance of you winning and a 50 percent chance of the other person winning you could win six thousand robux for a coin flip or you could lose it all 
Go to Robux Gold, little child. This is literally a gambling website. The same games, the same gambling games that are just on kick right now that people, like you're not allowed to be anywhere near it if you're a child. This is Roblox though. I want you to get new hats and then get more Robux to spend on Roblox Marketplace. It's crazy. It's the Robloxian Industrial Complex. There are a ton of these websites that exist for just this purpose. And also, at least now, Roblox doesn't get a, a cut. But if you get a hat and then you take it back to Roblox and then you have to sell it, then they do. They eventually get their cut. They're like the IRS. All that gambling money goes right to you, the player. Plus, these websites, you have to log in with your Roblox account. And by just logging into these sites, you can just lose all your shit because you're an idiot child and you had no idea. No offense to you, any you idiot childs out there. This is called beaming. It's kind of a big deal in the Roblox community. You just gave full access to your account to a random gambling website because you're a stupid child and you uh, wanted a new hat for your avatar or whatever and you're just an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> you got tricked by a fellow on Discord maybe even. It's pretty common. It happens a lot. And not to just children, by the way. <laughs> it's very important. Very important to note that this doesn't just affect small children. This affects a lot of adult men, some I would consider my friends. This happens a lot, and there's practically no way for Roblox to crack down because it's off the platform that they have, which is Roblox.com, which I don't think that they would crack down anyways because it still makes them money. Another thing that Roblox does epically, this time on their own platform that is just for sure gambling is called is feedback loops. There's a game called Adopt Me, and you can purchase eggs with in-game currency, which is specific to the the game like Dave and Buster's coins and you can use that currency for eggs to even get the eggs though you have to purchase a VIP pass which costs Robux aka real life dollaros then you get odds because you're hatching eggs rare eggs and trading those for currency look at this clip of this little girl accidentally having a rare trade look at her she's so sad after this this is amazing I love this I mean that's a little child that just lost everything dude 2008 financial collapse but in the the mind of a four-year-old child this clip's a little less loud but it's still funny because it's a little child getting scammed <laughs> that's so funny i love the music and stuff it's like i got scammed i cried what there are hundreds of videos of kids uploading footage of themselves getting scammed by roblox i mean look at this this is a fucking crazy. Even children know they're getting scammed, but they still do it. It's just gambling, stealing, crimes, but it's in Roblox and it's for children, so it doesn't matter, right, dude? But if all that wasn't enough to prove that there are a lot of victims of this epic website known as Roblox, well, recently they released voice chat and VR support. And by God, that's creepy as f this part's gonna get a little darker. Roblox is not safe for children, in my opinion, and they have a massive moderation problem. Back in 2021, Roblox added voice chat to the game for users 13 and up. So not children, but uh, preteens or teenagers or whatever that is. By the way, adults also play this. So it's very worrisome that they added voice chat for people who are 13 up. Now this is standard for social media, for example, Twitter full of and you have to be 13 to use Twitter. Is that right? No, that's up and there needs to be some some fixes on a lot of these platforms but uh specifically roblox it's really just a children's platform overall unlike twitter i have my toes curling what are you saying i'm just sitting here relaxing stop it i've never met a man that's mean like that i'm slapping you <laughs> oh i need to do it again what the f very funny bro funny roblox content there's a roblox youtuber just spanking a I don't even know if it's a child. It sounds like a kid and it's Roblox, so it's safe to assume probably. When this voice chat thing first launched, there was no way of moderating these voice chats. So it got really, really, really bad. You can tell there's a bunch of posts on Reddit, the backbone of the internet. Who in the FU-K thought adding voice chat to Roblox was a good idea? Any game with VC is now unbearable. So many toxic kids, it's simply too cancerous. And besides this problem, it's more easy than ever for weirdos and creeps online to ask for your socials, etc. and could lead to inappropriate conversations because believe it or not, non-supervised VC on a children's game full of young adults, some of them are worst and most toxic people, is a bad idea. I simply cannot understand how the people behind the S idea could come to the conclusion that it was a good idea. Wait till you hear about Roblox dating. That's pretty awesome. Go check out the uh, the old Verge article for people 17 and up. Last time I checked, you had to be 18 years old to be an adult, but uh, I guess we're down to 17 now.
Eventually, moderation tools were implemented in the Robloxian voice chat world. I could detect what you say and give you warnings or suspensions and bans if necessary, which is pretty awesome. The, the, the Big Brother is literally listening. Big Brother Roblox is literally listening to you. But obviously, this went terribly, and many complained that it didn't work effectively. People were uh, being banned for illegitimate reasons. Just the, the AI or whatever they're using to listen in on them was just not accurate. So yeah, big, huge L yet again. Apparently, a file groomed 150 children legally using Roblox, according to this. I mean, that is insane. Another particularly disgusting use of Roblox was when a 45-year-old man from Florida pretended to be a young girl. He used the username Xbox Diamond Girl and blackmailed a 13-year-old boy to send explicit photos and videos of himself. His name was Shane Patrick Pinskak or something. Pinzak. I don't know. Look at this. That's him, though. He's got a little dog on his shoulder. A cat. That's a cat, not a dog. I'm an idiot. No, I've put man accused of crimes. Posed as young girl. Targeted 13-year-old. Used Discord, Twitch, and Roblox. Demanded sex What a f***ing nice-looking guy. Another story was shared by People Make Games. A YouTube channel is from a girl who was being uh, inappropriately texted by an adult developer on Roblox. Said let's get. The person you're about to hear speak is Sarah, not her real name. When Sarah first met Doc in a Discord server, Doc was 24 and he knew that Sarah was 12. When I had first met him, uh, he had mentioned his Roblox fan game and I was like, hey, I like Roblox too. He was making a Roblox Sonic fan game, two things that had caught my interest at the time. So I asked him about it. Next thing I know, I get like five pings and he sends me a bunch of gifts of it. He's sending me progress of it already. I, he was the one who uh, started taking the inappropriate jokes into DMs first. He kept encouraging it, saying that it was okay to make these jokes. It's, it's not illegal, it's not breaking any laws, even though it was literally sexting. ERP, if you don't know what that is, it's erotic roleplay. It's on VR chat. It's terrible. It's a very bizarre and disgusting subculture that exi exists in games where people can talk to each other and roleplay, uh, and it's creeping its way on, onto Roblox. It's not facing any Roblox, roadblocks. Bazinga! People Make Games also covered some other worrisome things that you can find in Roblox. There's apparently a fascist role-playing game that you can play in, and also a strip club. Now that sounds like kind of America. The side of the moderation that makes the best headlines are the games that simply should not be there. Like this Wired article on the fascist role-playing games, or this Rolling Stone article on the trolls who are always coming up with new ways to hide sex games on Roblox. This is a great video, by the way, by People Make Games, and uh, I, w I remember watching it when it first came out two years ago. I recommend checking it out. There'll be a link down in the description below. Also, the sexualization of characters is another massive problem. A big point was made by Ruben Sim, another YouTuber. He talks about Roblox's worst moderation problem. Even shaders can be found in the game that alter the appearance of characters to make them look like they got uh, or abs or whatever. It's shading, it's not nudity, so it's allowed. Very strange. I also recommend checking out Ruben Sim. They both have excellent videos on this stuff and they highlight the predatory behavior of Roblox and the, the community towards children. And also, they show how widespread it is. I assume it's only gotten worse. Despite all these various forms of blatant abuse stemming from the Robloxian world, this game and this world has propelled so many people to unfathomable levels of success. There are a lot of Roblox influencers, a lot of YouTubers, and a lot of them make great content, and a lot of them are really good people. I mean, just look at this. There's 9.4 million followers on Twitch that are just following Roblox. And they say Twitch is for adults? What the f***? We're gonna Roblox Steamless way now. That's crazy. There's a bunch of Roblox YouTubers. My friend Flamingo. I'm not really sure uh, some of these other people. I think I know Sketch. I can't remember without seeing the name. And I think Dennis and Creecraft. I think I know who they are too. I don't know. I don't know them specifically, but like some people make the argument that these popular channels perpetuate the issues that come from within Roblox, sort of the YouTube indie game thing where it's like, oh, we focus on the games that have the best clickbait and the best, most clippable sort of game loops. And then we make those and then it makes bad games or whatever. I don't know. And then you add gambling and stuff. Say what you will about that. I'm not really sure. But one thing is for sure is that kids love watching people play things. Uh, and then they like to play the things that they watch the people play. Like that's for sure what children like to do. I mean, I used to play Feed and Grow Fish, a little game called Feed and Grow. How about that, bud? Shit. And guess what? Kids loved watching me play that. Did I say the F word? I think I started off honestly pretty family friendly. I definitely wasn't that family friendly, but uh, now I'm not family friendly at all. 
not even a small amount. A lot of these Roblox folk are deep, sorry, are uh, heavily involved in the Robloxian industrial loop. This kid's seven years old or something like that, and he just plays one game. Also use Turbo. Oh, you so you turbo. I don't even know who that's going. Whoa, shit. He needs to get a little, a little bit of a, a limiter there on that mic. He hurt my my brain. He hurt my conscience. It's a constant, never-ending feedback loop cycle. Eat, sleep, Roblox, repeat. It's fucking epic, dude. There's also like a Roblox developers thing. I think it's called RDC. That shit's been going off since 2015. Here at Roblox Developer Conference, we're all adults and we're just figuring out the best ways to take advantage of children and suck money from them as effectively as we possibly can. Yeah! Thank you, Robloxian bigwigs. By the way, the, the whole UGC thing, user-generated content, you can essentially create Roblox NFTs uh, and have artificial scarcity on cosmetics. So that's great. Let's definitely let our children play this game. What do you think about it? I don't fucking like it very much, but I also at the same time absolutely love it. It's great content. Roblox 